Hey everyone, this is Natalie with Eclectic Bakes, and today I'm going to teach y'all how to make a fall impressionist cake. So we're going to start with a crumb coated 9 by 13 cake, and we're just going to take an offset spatula to draw some guidelines for our background colors. So I'm adding a line between the sky and the ground, and then I'm also going to add some lines for our road. Now we can go ahead and start filling in our background. So I'm going to start with this tan colored buttercream and just use my offset spatula to fill in our road lines. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the grass. So again, I'm starting with the offset spatula, but actually decided that for those tight corners, something a little smaller would be better. So I'm going to go ahead and use this sharp pointed palette knife and use it to fill in the rest of our grass. Now that we have grass, we can go in and we can fix any mistakes we've made, and then we're gonna add a little bit of texture. So I'm using this brush, and it's just a dry brush, and just kinda going in and lightly tapping out to add some texture to the grass. Now both palette knife and the brush, I just got from a little paintbrush kit that you can get at pretty much any craft store. Now that our grass has a little bit of texture, we can go ahead and give our sky some color. So I've got a pretty sky blue buttercream, and I'm just going to use that to fill in all of our sky. And again, nobody's perfect, so if you make any little mistakes, it's no big deal. You can just go around and pick up any extra colors, and then go back and fix your mistakes. Now we're going to start adding some trees. So for the front of the cake, we're gonna want some nice big trees because those are gonna be the ones that look close to us. And I've got some dark brown buttercream in a bag. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the trees. And then as we start going and the trees start getting farther away, we're gonna make the trees a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna make the spacing between the trees a little bit smaller as well. Now at this point, I decided that I kinda wanted some more trees. So I extended the path, again using that small palette knife since it's really good with small spaces. And it's okay if you make a mistake, because hey, you can always just go back and add more frosting, right? So I'm adding some more trees. Again, they're far away, so they're gonna be pretty small. And now I'm taking that palette knife and I'm gonna smooth out that buttercream. That way I can add a little bit of texture. Now, unfortunately, um, I lost the footage of me finishing the trees, but basically what I did is I smoothed out the buttercream, added some tree limbs, and then used that palette knife to give those trees a little bit of texture. Sorry again about the lost footage, but hopefully you can tell what I did from this image. So next we're going to start adding some leaves. So I've got some pretty fall leaf colored buttercreams here in piping bags and I just kind of snipped the tip to make a small hole. So the leaves that are really far away, those are gonna be the smallest. So I'm just using small little dots and going around and kind of just putting them on randomly throughout. And I've alternated colors so that we can get a nice disbursement of color. You're just gonna keep going until it's all full and pretty, just like that. Next, uh, you can cut your holes a little bit bigger because the leaves that are closest to us are gonna be bigger. So I'm just going around and it's the exact same technique, just piping little dots, burying my colors until it's all nice and full. Now we're gonna go back with that brown buttercream and we're gonna draw in some of the tree limbs again. This will just add a little bit more definition to the trees, make them look a little bit more real. And it just gives a really nice effect to the overall cake. Next, we're gonna add the leaves that have fallen on the ground, and it's the same idea. Leaves that are closer to us are gonna be bigger, leaves that are farther away are gonna be smaller, and we're just gonna alternate colors until we get a nice disbursement. And then for this, I only did the red, orange, and yellow, because I figured green leaves are usually still on the trees. Now I'm going back and adding that grass, since I extended my path, that way, it our grass doesn't just kind of randomly stop and then our path keeps going. 
And I'm just using my brush to kind of touch it all up and make that grass look all like one. And there you go. That's the top of the cake. Hard part's done. Now we don't want to leave the sides bare. So I decided to stick with my fun colors and do a kind of scaly pattern. And you just do that by piping big circles and then using either a palette knife or a small offset spatula to kind of smooth them out. And I'm just gonna go in rainbow order because I think that looks pretty. And I'm just going around the cake with these colors. You're just gonna keep going until the entire side of the cake is covered up. And there you go. A fall cake inspired by impressionist art. I really love the colors in this because I just really love fall colors. It's a really, really fun cake. Very, very, very festive. And really, it's not that hard to do. So I hope y'all give it a try. Please like this video if you, well, liked it. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more.